this is Mayank and today I am going to brief about the common troubleshooting issues that uh, uh, many of us face in the AWS so let's begin so what are the common issues so the most common issue that uh, we experience is permission issues so majority of us actually work in enterprises and we have the uh, AWS account that is provided by the company and that account has a very limited access and that's obvious because with so much of uh, employees it's not possible to give the root permissions so the roles and access uh, levels are very limited so what we uh, face is that whenever we try to experiment uh, with any AWS service or we want to do some POC we find that it's uh, very much uh, difficult to spin the EC2 instances or create any resources because of these uh, permission issues so uh, you must know in advance that uh, our organizations cannot do anything about it because uh, top security is the topmost priority and uh, uh, that's why limited access is uh, is the standard for any enterprises so uh, like whenever you are uh, doing any kind of POC or something so make sure that uh, you ask for the appropriate permissions to be added to your account to do that POC so that's the uh, that's one thing that uh, uh, majority of us encounters so another common issue that we see is the service quota so actually AWS has put uh, soft and hard limits on the amount of resources we can use in the account for example if we want to spin the EC2 instances so by default there is a limit on how much instances we can spin in particular region or maybe if we want to use some port uh, where we want to send some traffic or maybe any other service there are always soft and hard limits associated with that service like how much we can consume that service so one way to uh, like increase the limit is like soft limits we can uh, we can ask that AWS to increase them so for that we just have to raise a ticket with AWS that I will show and hard limits are something that are the uh, limitations that a service has so they cannot be altered so we have to uh, design our architecture in such a way that it should be well under the hard limits another thing is the console limitations it's uh, rare to see but uh, let me uh, give you an example like uh, what it is so uh, the thing is that using AWS console if you are trying to configure some resource in AWS then uh, you may face issue because uh, with AWS console there may be limitations and limitations could be like for example if you are trying to create an ECS cluster uh, maybe it's a Fargate cluster or maybe it's an EC2 based cluster and if you are trying to configure the load balancers in it then actually if you are doing all this by using the AWS console there is a limitation that you can only map one port uh, with the load balancer to your container port mapping that you provide while uh, adding a load balancer in the cluster that is limited to only one port but if you have a requirement where you want to map more than one port with your load balancer when you are creating this clusters then actually you have to either uh, use the AWS uh, API directly to config to configure or create this cluster or maybe you want to use the AWS CLI or uh, another option is to use Terraform or cloud formation uh, scripts to basically create your EC2 clusters. So uh, there could be uh, limitations with the uh, AWS console and uh, this limitation is also there uh, uh, when they have recently switched to the new uh, console and uh, whenever you see this limitation you want to go to documentation to just check if uh, this is only a limitation with the AWS console and you can overcome this limitation by switching to another mode like by using CLI, APIs, Terraform etc. 
another is another problem is basically the fast release cycle so aws actually uh, releases its features very fast and uh, you have to be uh, you have to keep up to date with the latest documentation so maybe there is one feature that uh, is not there and uh, maybe after six months uh, there is a new feature available so you if you want to design your architectures correctly then you uh, would like yourself to keep up to date with the service documentation so that you are aware about the new features that are added uh, recently so another thing that i would like to suggest is that uh, you might not be aware that aws also provides a technical support and aws also has a very good support and it takes care of all your issues so if you are struggling with some issue in aws maybe in your organization or maybe in your personal accounts then you uh, must consider about reaching directly to the aws support with your queries it's very easy to uh, reach the AWS support team and I will show you how so this means like you can just take directly the help from the AWS technical experts so whenever there is issue you might struggle on YouTube or maybe on uh, on a blogging website to find answers that may be very specific to your use case but the best help that you could get on your specific use cases is from AWS technical experts and I will tell you how to contact them all you need is basically just to raise a support ticket another important service that I would like to talk about is CloudTrail so this CloudTrail is basically a very simple service that uh, uh, keeps track of uh, the uh, all the all the events that are happening in our account but uh, it can it can also help in troubleshooting the issues so let's just first read about the cloud trail what it is so uh, basically cloud trail is a service and in this service you can see actions that are taken by user that are taken by role or maybe the service is trying to communicate with any other service and then all these events are recorded in the cloud trail so this basically is a kind of logging that we get and the best thing about this uh, service is that it is enabled by default you don't have to make any additional changes to enable it and whenever you are stuck with some issue you can directly jump to this service to find out what the issue is basically so let me give you an example so for example you are you have spinned up an EC2 instance and that EC2 instance is basically communicating with the uh, with the S3 service it's trying to upload some data over S3 and trying to try to encrypt it or decrypt it etc so if that instance or your or the application that is running on the EC2 that is communicating with other service then uh, maybe it is not performing as expected and it is not uh, uploading data to S3 or it or in any other way it is creating issues then it is the cloud trail that can help you understand what's happening in the background because in cloud trail there will be events that will be generated and it will show you like uh, what all uh, re request your EC2 box is making and where it is failing so I can just uh, give you a glimpse let me directly go here to the cloud trail So in your account you can just go to the cloud trail dashboard and on the cloud trail dashboard you can just see the event history and in the event history you can easily see that these are basically the event names or the things that are 
uh, being logged by the AWS that uh, all the activities that are happening in my account you can click you can click on this and after clicking on this you will get a complete JSON request as what actually uh, the request is made by EC2 instance what service it is trying to use with what permission it has and if there is an error you will be also able to see it in the response the exact de uh, error message uh, so you can just check these details and then you can uh, ask for the permissions if there are permission issues if there is a configuration issue you can check and then you can correct it I'm not going to open this because it also has some confidential information uh, but you in your personal accounts you can just uh, explore this so let me also tell you about uh, AWS support so where we can uh, communicate with the AWS technical team for any issues Let's support. so let's go to support service so support service actually is a very a uh, good service when you are stuck with some issue as I told earlier and it has basically categorized into two like if you are facing any issues with your account or maybe if you need any technical assistance so you can see that there are topics that are com commonly explored by the people when they are stuck with some issues but the thing is that uh, when you are doing some work and you are stuck that problem may be very very custom and you may not find your answers here because these are generic queries at that time the best thing is to reach out to AWS support just before reaching to the AWS support uh, I also would like to tell you about uh, uh, what plans are available with this uh, support so let me just go through go here let me select a plan okay so this basically tells me like what access level I have to the support for example my, I have a very basic account and with this basic account I just get very basic services I can just uh, uh, ask the AWS support to increase the service quotas or I also get a AWS health dashboard etc but if you have a developer business or enterprise account uh, because I'm sure with the organizations this that's mostly business or enterprise account you get a lot of services uh, you get 24 or across 7 support with the AWS support engineers and you can communicate with them over email over chat or even on a telephone call and they also get other very useful services for example you get to review your architecture if you are working on some architecture you can get it reviewed by their team you can also get training you can also get it you also get a de uh, te dedicated technical account manager that is always there to help you with your uh, initial account setups etc so you can see you can explore all these plans that are available and let's just go and try to raise a support case so suppose you have any issue just directly go to uh, create a case so you can see if I choose technical case then I the technical support is not available but if your plan is an enterprise level plan then you will have this support available and it's good to raise a case with them whenever you are stuck so I will uh, try to raise an account and billing case suppose I select any topic that I have some issue with billing and maybe I want to place some question and that's a general question I will go to the adding additional information or so you can just check uh, over here the subject like uh, uh, if I want to know the bill summary maybe I will add like this so any question that you uh, that you want to raise with them so just raise with them next I will go with contact us I will check the web option 
and I will just submit my case so my case is raised so you can see this is a case ID this is my question and uh, whenever uh, the AWS will reply you will be able to see their reply on the same screen so you must consider uh, raising an issue with AWS team whenever you are stuck in your organizations because they, your enterprise accounts have very very much privileged and maybe your use cases are such that they are not available on, net, on the internet and AWS team has a very good insight into your accounts so they can help you much faster so friends that's all about this uh, uh, troubleshooting tips. Thank you.